difficulty breathing is one of the most common symptoms. 50% of hospitalized patients experience difficulty breathing. Medically, it is called dyspnea or shortness of breath. Dyspnea is a subjective feeling and can be represented as any type of breathing discomfort. Generally, when a person mentions breathing difficulty, we initially consider conditions like asthma, anemia or anxiety. If the person is an older adult, we first think of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or heart failure. Asthma is the first and most common cause of dyspnea. Asthma affects almost TN of the world's population. The hallmarks of asthma are attack-like episodes of wheezing, noisy breathing, shortness of breath, a feeling of not getting enough air, chest tightness and coughing. These symptoms usually worsen at night or early morning. The mechanism of asthma involves chronic airway inflammation and bronchial hyperresponsiveness. For example, airways constrict when a person encounters cold air, allergens, infections or during exercise. Each asthma attack can last from several minutes to hours. The individual typically feels better between attack episodes, although some residual symptoms may persist. The diagnosis of asthma is made through spirometry, a breathing test that measures how effectively a person can exhale air in the first second. It's important to know that breathing discomfort episodes can also be exclusively caused by exercise or cold air, even without the classic asthma diagnosis. Prenic obstructive pulmonary disease COPI is the second most common cause of dyspnea. In COPD, the airways, bronchi and lungs become damaged over time. This damage usually occurs due to chronic exposure to cigarette smoke or other toxins. This disease has two main components. Bronic bronchites, a cough with mucus that lasts for more than three months per year for at least two consecutive years. Two, emphysema to the lungs air sacs, leading to a reduced surface area for oxygen exchange. During COPD, the main symptom is a cough, usually with sputum. Another critical hallmark is dyspnea on exertion, where breathing difficulty arises during physical activity. Difficulty breathing can have several degrees of severity. Grade zero is when person experiences discomfort only during strenuous exercising. Grade one is when a person feels breathing discomfort during uphill or brisk walking. Grade two is when a person walks slower than other people of the same age and has to stop while walking to improve breathing. Grade three is when a person stops after walking 100 meters. Grade four is when a person feels breathless even during everyday activities like dressing and undressing. COPD usually occurs after age 40 and is very common after age 55, especially in smokers. Pheometry is the gold standard for diagnosing COPD. The third most common cause of dyspnea is heart failure. It is a condition when the heart is unable to pump enough blood to meet the body's needs. This condition is more common among older adults and very rare in young people. Shortness of breath that worsens with physical activity is the key feature. Orthopnea, which means breathing difficulty while lying down and relieved by sitting up, is also a sign of heart failure. Many people prop themselves up with extra pillows at night. The third critic characteristic is pulmonary congestion, which means fluid buildup in the lungs. This is also called pulmonary edema. It causes crackles when listening with a stethoscope. Sometimes a person may cough up pink, frothy sputum. Heart failure is a progressive disease and requires intervention. It can be life-threatening in many cases because the five-year survival rate of heart failure is around 50%. The fourth most common cause is pneumonia, a lung infection and inflammation. We can differentiate from other causes because chest discomfort in this case is connected with fever, a cough which is often productive, and pyritic chest pain, pain that worsens with deep breath or coughing. Pneumonia usually starts with symptoms similar to a cold or flu like sore throat, runny nose and mild fatigue, and it worsens over time. Breathing becomes difficult within 3-5 days, the pneumonia commonly requires antibiotics. The fifth most common cause is anemia. When red blood cells or hemoglobin are reduced, less oxygen is delivered to the cells. Chest pain during anemia can be dull, squeezing or pressure-like. It can mimic angina heart attack. 
this may worsen with exertion. A person may feel fatigue, weakness, pale skin, dizziness, lightheadedness, palpitations, and have cold hands and feet. Chest discomfort can be caused by a heart attack, but the major symptom is usually sudden pressure, tightness, and a squeezing sensation in the chest. The pain may radiate to the arm, jaw, or neck. Rest or nitroglycerin usually relays angina. The sneeze is caused by respiratory problems. Rest usually has no direct correlation with chest pain relief. During angina and heart attacks, breathing problems are usually not the primary complaint, while during respiratory problems, breathing problems are the primary symptom.